Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first in the series of instructional videos on the operation of the Mentor ET. The way we have the video set up on the left hand side of your screen, you will see live video from the camera that we have pointing at our Mentor ET and at our uh, demo scanner setup. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see a high resolution uh, remote desktop view of the Mentor UT screen. So you'll be able to follow along in great detail. You'll see what I'm doing with my hands in terms of operation of the instrument, and you'll be able to see the result on the screen at the same time. So, first, some basic introductory things about the, <clears throat> the Mentor UT um, basic operation power button is located on the rear of the instrument, it has the, the standard symbol for power on it. Uh, you give that, if the instrument's turned off, you give that one brief hold, about one second pushed in is enough to turn it on. If you're shutting down the instrument, <coughs> push the button once, an uh, item will pop up on the screen, screen asking you to confirm that you want to shut down. You can either hit the button the second time or hit OK to, to close the app, to close the, the instrument, turn the instrument off. <clears throat> so basic operation, when the instrument boots, you'll see this screen. This is where all of your applications or apps live. Um, one of the apps in particular that we're going to be looking at today is a corrosion demo kit. Uh, you'll see it at the, in the uh, top row, second item in. Um, this will be on all of the, the demo uh, Mentor EMs or Mentor UTs uh, that have shipped along with the demo kit. To start an app, simply touch that app with your finger, hold it for a second. You'll see the, the uh, loading prompt pop up. Depending how the app was built in Create, you may have the choice of launching or resuming. And you can just touch either one of those to change your option. Hit OK. We're going to launch, which means starting from the beginning. Launch means to start from the beginning of an app, fresh set of default values and everything. Resume means it picks up from the last place that you left off. So if you were using this app yesterday, you closed it by choosing resume here, it will open to the same spot with the same settings that you had yesterday when you stopped. So we'll go ahead and choose launch. And now we're presented with the first panel of the app. Um, apps are organized much like uh, PowerPoint presentations. Only instead of slides in your PowerPoint presentation, you have panels in the app. You can navigate between panels with buttons that are on the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. So you have a next arrow pointing to the right, a previous arrow pointing to the left. You have a pop-up table of contents. So if you touch the, the third button in here, it's a list with a little up arrow you'll see a list of all the panels in this app and you can go directly to one of those panels. In this case, case we're going to select next and this panel of the app gives us a kind of a step-by-step -step, uh, process or procedure of what we're going to go through in this app. Third panel is a list of materials, a list of items that you need to execute this app. Probes, demo block, scanner, all the equipment that you need to do the test. Then on the next panel, we get to the first panel that begins to mix instrument operation with uh, instruction. So on the left-hand side of the panel, there's an explanation of what we're trying to accomplish in this step. Uh, the step is actually a dead element check. So the instrument has been placed into a mode that scans across the probe with all 32 elements uh, active, one element wide virtual probe, so we're stepping through all the physical elements looking for dead uh, elements on the probe. So some other basic operations of the instrument. Uh, if you want to look at system settings, so again that's the, the button down here that looks like a tic-tac-toe. It's a second button in on the right. Home button, or yeah, second button in from the left. The home button is all the way on the left side of the navigation bar. Then the settings button. Those two will always be there. Hit settings. The gear is basic instrument settings. 
The little pile of pictures is the file manager. More about that later. Inspection works, connect, and then uh, power off. So just like hitting the power switch it, uh, to turn it off, hitting that will pop up the power manager. It'll offer us a choice. I'm going to cancel it there so we can continue. Open the system settings. The first one is screen and display, regional, time and date. Uh, the instrument will set the time and date automatically anytime you connect to a network with an internet connection. In here all you need to do is choose the format that you want to view things and what time zone you're in. Uh, the rest of it, anytime you connect uh, by Wi-Fi or wired Ethernet to a, a network with a, an internet connection, time will be set automatically. Panel for setup of Inspection Works Connect, we'll do a separate video on that. Wi-Fi, you see I have uh, visibility to two wireless networks here. I'm connected to Mentor Engineering Network in our lab. Remote Desktop Connection. This is a high performance remote desktop viewing and it's what I'm using to create this video. So I have an ethernet connection between my PC and the instrument and I'm remotely sharing my desktop over the local connection to my PC. Updates, we'll come back and talk more about that later. This is where we would update the software, the operating software of the instrument. Um, right now I have a memory stick plugged in that has two updates on it. I can install either one of those from here if I chose to. Version information. Anytime you call for support, very important to have this uh, panel open uh, so that you can tell the, the support personnel here at the plant what versions of software you're running. System info is a lot of information about the hardware of the instrument. You can see operating temperatures of the computer and the battery in here, the status of several critical systems. So if you open this panel and you see a red light instead of a green light, most likely you have a hardware problem and you need to call for support. And factory test is where the IP information of the wired Ethernet connection is available. Most of you won't ever have to use that. Uh, screen and display. Brightness for best battery life. The biggest thing you can do to influence battery life in this instrument is adjust the screen brightness to a comfortable level but not overly bright. So I usually leave mine set to about 26% and most of the time that will give you about three and a half hours of battery operation. So that's most of the important items on the settings panel. And with that we'll wrap up for now and come back in a little bit with the next section.